Let's have a quick look at this piston then and uh, let's see what it tells us. So first of all, that burning on the top, it's not bad, but it just indicates that it's been getting pretty hot. Uh, so that would suggest to me that it's slightly lean. Uh, then looking at the underside of the piston, so directly underneath where that burning was, you can see a dark patch. Again, not particularly bad, but it does just mean that it's getting quite hot. So again, quite lean. Uh, and then we're looking at the, the side of the piston uh, and this side is the exhaust side and that's the bit that gets the hottest and hopefully you can see on the picture there that uh, there's quite a bit of scoring. Again, not bad, but definitely worth changing. Uh, it just suggests that it's been getting hot, so that means there's not really enough fuel to keep it cool. So the richer it is, the more fuel there is around, the cooler it runs. Obviously you don't want it too rich because then it doesn't run quite as well, um, but it's a fine balance. Then looking at the other side, so the inlet side of the piston, you can see there are two like vertical lines down there. A couple of things that that suggests, again, it looks like one is that when the piston's been getting hot, it's been expanding and it's been touching in that area. So again, maybe it's just a bit lean, but most likely with those vertical lines there, that would suggest that it's been run quite hard from cold without letting everything expand as much as it should do. So two recommendations with this bike. The first is let's just richen that jetting up just a little bit, possibly just one size up on the main jet will do it. Trial and error needed here. And the second is let's get the bike a bit warmer before giving it the beans.